God lives and works today. Although He is the Almighty Creator, who has no need of anyone, He has chosen man to be His hands and feet. Yes, He has chosen and called us to bring relief to a world that is hungering for love. Can there be any greater calling than this, to bring others the love that makes people blessed and happy? How can we do this? Listen to today's meditation by Vasily Schlink called Chosen to Love. If our hearts were filled with a strong, consuming fire of love for Jesus, we could turn the whole world upside down. The missionary and prayer warrior John Hyde was so captivated by this love for Jesus that he couldn't bear it when no souls were won for the Lord. Often he was driven to pray through a whole night. And indeed, new life broke out, not only among his fellow missionaries in India, but among all the heathen too. In response to his prayers, every day great numbers of heathen came to believe in their Lord Jesus and were saved. Once, when Catherine of Siena visited two murderers who had been sentenced to be executed, her heart was seized by a love for them. In spirit she saw them already in the torment of hell, and so she entered into prayer, fasting and suffering for them. Why would she do such a thing for two people she didn't even know? only because these souls were so precious to the Lord Jesus. And at the scaffold both murderers did repent, and called upon the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus has called us to love with his love. In John 17 he prays that the love with which God has loved him may also be in his disciples. For we were chosen in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. That is why our whole lives depend upon love. The Apostle Paul says, If I speak in tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. But how can we acquire this love? Where can we find it? This love can only be found in Jesus. He is the only one who really loves. He is the source of all love. His nature and heart are only love. It is His love that overpowers sinners and makes them loving. Therefore let no day go by in which you do not sow love to the fullest, and you will reap love from God here and in all eternity. Yes, what an indescribably wonderful calling to be servants of this love. Our only answer to such love must be total commitment to Jesus, to Him who is eternal love. Jesus is love everlasting. He came to us below, that God to all His children a selfless love might show. Eternal love is still You have been listening to a program written by Basile Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.